Hi there, so what I've been trying to do lately is trying to redesign or design a new uh, sort of voltage regulator for RoboBird servos. So what I was using before was an LM317, which is like a linear one. And what that means is that it's really inefficient. So I was looking and looking and then I found this thing called a SMPS. And right now I'm trying to design a step-down voltage regulator using the MC34063. Um, it's a really cool chip. There's like it's used in a lot of places. Um, but with Robert servos, what would need to happen is that it would need to have at maximum 1.3 amps. So it needs to have much more than 500 milliamps for sure. Um, so in order to do this, we can use an external boost converter. Um, so basically right now what's going on is I have the multimeter monitoring the <laughs> output voltage of the current circuit. Uh, the input voltage is this battery right over here, it's 11.1 volts. And um, this circuit right here it is a mashup between um, it's a mashup between the circuit up here, which is just the step down uh, one, and between the external current boost uh, connections for the NPN. So um, I combined the two together because whenever I would try this one on its own, it wouldn't work, and whenever I would try this one on its own, it wouldn't have enough current. Um, so I, I just assumed right here that these two or three circles actually mean that uh, we should be using the same sort of what's happening over here. Um, I don't know if that's the right assumption, but it's giving me the right voltage out and um, it's probably giving a bit more than 500 milliamps because um, I have a servo here, right? So I can um, just put the load onto the circuit and you can see that the servo works, but there's a voltage drop, <laughs> a really big one. Um, so I don't really know what's going on here. I followed this, uh, what's on the data sheet. So um, if anyone has any tips, that'd be really helpful. I looked at the, uh, I think it was on EEV blog about this circuit and like calculating everything, which is really cool. Um, but it was really easy and it didn't really answer my questions about the external boost which is what I'm really needing right now. So I'll just uh, show you the circuit, I guess, from top down. Maybe it will help. It, like, I'm trying to make this work so that um, RoboBird is more efficient and um, it will just work really good. Uh, but I like I've literally been trying this for, <laughs> like, I think three weeks now and um, this is the farthest I've gotten. At least it can turn a servo, but there's a huge voltage drop and everything. And also none of the components get hot at all, so... Um, I guess to go through the values... Um, <laughs> this one I don't... Uh, I can't really find... Uh, where is it? It's something. Uh, it's the one from the data sheet, right? So it's 220 microhenries. Uh, so 220 microhenries. This is a tip 121. This is 3.6k. This is 1.2k. Um, I think this one's half a watt. This one's a full watt. This one is uh, 0.36 ohms. Um, probably like one watt or something like that. 1.2k here, uh, probably one watt, and then uh, this one is either, uh, yeah, this one's probably 470 picofarads, or it might be uh, like 
yeah, it's, yeah, that's it. Um, or I might be wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. And then this one is the same one that's on the data sheet. And then this one is for 170 microfarads. Um, so yeah, if you have any advice on how to actually make this thing work, it would be really helpful because um, I want to make Robert as efficient as possible. And one of the other things is that um, since if this would, were to be more efficient, then there would be less heat given off, which would mean less chance of Robert actually catching fire if it was using like batteries, which it will be if it's using this circuit, and less chance of it melting or crazy stuff like that. So, um, yeah, um, also I'm really sort of new at this stuff, well, not really new, I just don't know a lot about this stuff, so, um, yeah, I have one multimeter, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't do anything like monitor it on an skill scope, um, yeah, so yeah, thanks if, for any help if you give help. Um, yeah. Alright, well, hopefully we can make this work. <laughs> if, if we do make it work, I'll make an awesome tutorial for it. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright.